last night in the wee hours of the morning, uh, nighttime for Iran, Israel launched a retaliatory strike against Iran following an Iranian assault uh, that involved over 300 drones and missiles, nearly all of which were intercepted by Israel's Iron Dome defense system. They gave them a 72-hour warning as well. What, what nice... If you're going to do terrorist attack, give them a, hey, yeah. hey, we well, hate you, up. but terrorism is coming. Give them a heads up. Um, the attack was part of an ongoing hostile, uh, hostilities that escalated after Hamas incursion into Israel six months prior. We're definitely going to talk about that. The U.S., while a key ally of Israel, has denied involvement <laughs> in the latest Israeli strike on Iran, emphasizing non-participation in offensive actions. Uh, international concerns have been voiced regarding the safety of nuclear sites, although the IAEA confirmed that Iran's nuclear facilities were not damaged in the strike. Not good. And then, um, so, this is going on last night. My story was already going to happen. Um, Benjamin Netanyahu, a couple days ago, uh, announced a $5 billion investment plan to build settlements in Gaza. Almost as if, mm. huh, this is kind of weird uh, coincidence. The initiative is supported by German and UK Prime Minister Rishi Sunak. About six months ago, Connor, and you remember this, we talked about this, uh, and his articles on VT.com, uh, he wrote an article about a leaked document that was compiled by an Israeli government research agency known as the Intelligence Ministry and was dated October 13th, six days after the Hamas attacks. The document suggested a mass relocation of Gaza's 2.3 million uh, people into Egypt's uh, Sinai Peninsula and also mentioned Canada's going to take some people, U.S. is going to take some people. Right. Basically, they, they want to spread the wealth uh, and take all these uh, refugees around. In this document, there was a marketing mass displacement section, okay, where they argued it, they would need to win over, this is Israel, the international support for relocation of Palestinians. It suggested relying on large advertising agencies to promote messaging to Western nations such as us in a way that does not incite or vilify Israel, but focuses on assisting the Palestinians and rehabilitating them, even at the price uh, of a tone that rebukes or even harms Israel. So... At the same time, they want to motivate the residents uh, to get out, you know, the loss, blame the loss of land on Hamas, making it clear that there's no hope, no hope to returning uh, to Israel, which will soon occupy. Okay, so last night I'm writing all this and I started to piece together the, the puzzle. I called you, I called Connor. So let's just let's just break this down if you guys want to go with me on this on this little journey, all right? Leading up to October 7th, and please, you guys butt in if you guys want. Uh, leading up to October 7th. Egyptian intelligence said that Israel ignored, ignored repeated warnings that Hamas was planning on something big on October 7th. They included an apparent direct notice from Cairo's intelligence minister to Netanyahu. Egypt's intelligence minister, General Abbas Kamel, personally called Netanyahu only 10 days before the massive attack on Gaza and was like, something unusual and something terrible is going to happen. Okay? Cut to October 7th. The attack happens, and as you guys all know, it took... Up to six hours in some places, some places almost 12 hours, zero response. The most guarded, secure, intelligent places on the planet for six hours, these fuck, these terrorists had to go, got, you know, carte blanche, they did whatever the hell they want, no response. Kind of weird. Then, some people, including myself, wanted to know, how does something, how does a massive... We, we still do. We still, exactly, exactly. I no still answers. Do. Yeah, zero. And, the, yeah, and some of us, you and me, uh, especially me and you, uh, we want to know, how did this failure, Amy? How did this happen? And what was the response that we keep hearing, especially from John Kirby? Now's not the time, okay? Mm -hmm. It's been six months, over six months, still no answers. Then five days after the attack, uh, the document that I spoke about uh, in Israel uh, was was released. So think about it. Fo follow, follow the line, okay? And then there's a home video of Benjamin Netanyahu sitting at a house. Somebody's recording it, like, on some home video stuff. And he is, um, a, a lady asked, Bibi, what, what if he was afraid of what the world would think of his actions uh, in Palestine? And he said... America has something, America is something that can easily be moved, uh, moved in the right direction, and that he said that America will not get in Benjamin Netanyahu's way. So, now with all that information I listed, and I want to ask a question, and I know Ben Shapiro, who made a video recently, hates when people ask questions because he said only five-year-olds should ask questions, and that people that ask questions are full of shit. But Ben, 
I just, I have to do it. I have to. I'm I'm five years old, okay? Could it be possible? I'm asking you guys. Could it be possible that this was planned? And before I keep going, I want to make this clear to everybody, okay? Because I know you're going to be out there. I know you're going to be talking trash. And you guys know, you know, I know who you are because I'm ready for it. If, if what I'm about to ask has nothing to do about Jewish people, okay, has nothing to do with Israel as a nation. It has to do with Benjamin Netanyahu, his administration, and the questionable shit that they're doing, okay? I question authority, all right? I end power when they do shady business. Hence the reason I left the United States Air Force. You guys know that. I was in during 9-11. I saw the shit that was happening, the warnings that were ignored. Then we went to Iraq. Oh, there's no weapons of mass destruction. I left the military because of shit like this. And if there's one thing anyone can criticize, it's Benjamin Netanyahu's leadership, okay? You can get mad, uh, just like all those people that have been protesting in the streets to get Netanyahu out. Nobody there likes Benjamin Netanyahu, okay? Uh, And apparently, he's a corrupt politician who was supposed to be on trial. Guess what? Anybody want to take a wild guess when Netanyahu was supposed to go on trial? November, right? No, no. October. But guess what happened? October 7th. And he was on trial for fraud, bribery, and guess what else, Amy? Breach of trust. They don't trust him. There was also this uh, intel chief, former... Israeli intel chief. So this is, you know, not an enemy of Israel, yep. pro-Israel guy, Amos Yadlin, who told Politico uh, about six months ago, so around the time the strikes happened, or the attack on yeah. Israel, uh, he said Netanyahu distracted Israel with the Supreme Court challenge prior to Hamas attack. So it says the attack on Israel by Hamas on October 7th was not the result of ignorance, but the result of the country being distracted by Netanyahu's attempt to overhaul the Israeli Supreme Court. Okay. Wow. So from his point of view, it's that maybe the country was just too busy focusing on the Supreme Court challenge and all the protests to focus That's on what it. He's but, but what if that was on purpose by design? Well, yeah, but but, but at Net- the end yeah. of the day, but well, hold on, bro. Coming from a security standpoint, I don't give a shit if there's the Supreme Court, there's parades in the street, there's your security apparatus doesn't take a fucking vacation. Yeah, what, you, are they all in the courthouse? Like, yeah, what's going on? Yeah, like, no, 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 you're, no, yeah, brother, that's, I, I understand, like, that's a good sidetrack, but that's that's completely bullshit. And go, what, you, you have more? Yeah, so then there was this other report from the New York Times uh, five months ago. Israel knew about first Hamas attack a year in advance. Um, it says that this is all on VT.com, by the way. They said Israeli officials obtained Hamas's battle plans for the October 7th terrorist attack more than a year before it happened. Documents, emails, and interviews show. But Israeli officials dismissed it as aspirational, considering it too difficult for Hamas to carry out. Okay, okay. How, but why wouldn't they at least get ready for it? Because how many other terrorist groups live next door to you? It's what? like if the one terrorist group that lives next door to you you have intel a year in advance saying they're going to try something, and you're just like, well, I that won't do anything about that. Does it, it doesn't does make it sense. Does remind you of anything, perhaps, uh, Bin Laden determined to strike U.S., the daily brief that was presented to George W. Bush uh, August 6th of 2001. Oh, we yeah. just, hmm. what, four weeks oh, before 9-11 that he oh, happened and not oh, even... Oh, weird, Rob, yeah. Rob, I love that you said that. Exactly like 9-11. <laughs> All, by the way, look at how this look at how this works and look where, like, they're, they're attacking Iran as we speak, right? Look at the missing, the failure of intelligence. I love that. I love this failure of intelligence. Yeah. Oh, and also, building number seven, Rob, falling at free fall speed, besides not being hit by a plane, the Pentagon, which, guys, try to challenge me. No plane hit the Pentagon. Let that let that sink in. Go look at the footage. No wings, no engine. It almost looks like they came and they dumped, like, a piece of a plane. It did not, what? Well, I, have you ever been to the Pentagon? No. Mm-hmm. Okay, you lived in I've D.C. I've seen it, I've driven past Okay, yeah. I, like, I, my son and I both, and unfortunately, uh, we have this morbid fascination with 9-11. <laughs> I know it's weird <laughs> to pass these things Father down. Father-son bonding. But yes, it is. We do talk about 9-11 a lot, and uh, we went when we went to D.C. over the summer. One of the things, Vinny, he wanted to go see was the side of the Pentagon where the plane went in. And yeah. when you stand and look, you're like, these guys who had no, they failed out of flight school in Sarasota, Florida, couldn't yeah. pass a flight test. Those guys did some type of corkscrew maneuver to bring it in at ground level, but the ground slopes down when it goes, the the mo- the point of impact, it's not flat. 
Yeah. It's not like this. Like, they had room to come in and come like this. It's on a decline like this all the way into the building. Yeah. And so when you're standing there and you look at the de-elevation of the, I don't know if that's the right De-escalation, term. de-elevation, whatever. But the way that the land comes down, those guys, they would have had to be the Sully Sullenbergers of uh, <laughs> Al-Qaeda to yeah. be able to make no. that miracle happen. No, and then, and then weird, it's very, very weird. There's one, the most v- recorded building on the planet, <laughs> probably top three. There's one just... <sighs> Looks like a missile, like a weird-looking missile. And then the uh, the FBI, everybody went to every single gas station and took every f- piece of footage. Why? Why can't we see 80 it? Eighty plus tapes confiscated by the federal tapes. bureau. And guess, and guess what they use, Rob? It's an act. We're an investigation. It's for national security. Yeah. Again, we'll get, bullshit. We'll get back to you on that. We're, yeah, yeah, we'll get back to you. It's never. 22, 23 yeah. years later. Exactly. I think we're good. Can you show us yeah. the other 80 surveillance videos? Yeah, and now? so all these people, all the Ben Shapiro's, all these, all these uh, people, these is- Israel supporters, which, guys, God bless it. I, I pray for everybody, for the, the hostages, for Israel, for Palestine, for the innocent lives. But if I want to criticize the leadership I can do whatever the F I want, okay? My tax dollars help. You're, we're all, we're allies. I get to criticize everybody, for instance, and not be anti-Semitic or whatever the hell, anti-Israel, because if you criticize Joe Biden and how bad and how shitty his administration is doing, does that mean I hate America? I'm being genuine. No. No, does that mean I hate America, Kelly? No. Does it? Or do, does it mean I want uh, the American people murdered? Does it make me anti-American? No, no, I'm, it's, I'm questioning him, his mental capacity, and his, his, um, his motives and what he's doing, okay? And if we can't question that without, mm-hmm. without people talking shit, and I know I'm going to get messages. I know I'll get my next. Vinny, you don't know about it. I don't need to know about shit. What I need to know is look at the history of what I said. The warnings, the attitude towards America, the signs, the attack happens. And for six hours, for six hours, Fucking terrorists got to do whatever they want. And I'm asking these questions. And what? I don't like Jewish people? You sound stupid. So why don't, why don't everybody find out how Netanyahu let that shit happen for six hours with the warning signs? It's as if it was planned. And now, as we're seeing, there's a, a war with Iran, which, mind you, America released $10 billion to give to Iran. For, and, and, and John Kirby and them are like, well, it's for humanitarian. You don't give a pimp... Ten million dollars and go. Hey, don't use it for pimp shit. Don't use it on you know your cars and your chains. And th- people are naive and don't think for two seconds that people of that power. We talk about it. There's psychopaths. There's sociopaths. There's maniacs that are just walking around in the street. Why the leaders can't be? Go ahead, Umberto. What no, you say? <sighs> Go ahead. I'm not playing these games. I'm not playing these. Games. By default, I love all people. Okay? You and me I, both. And I judge people on behavior. Behavior. Yeah. I don't care what, what color you are, what religion you are, whatever. I, yesterday, one of the missiles was like this close to a fucking nuclear silo in, in Iran. Like, are we playing these games? Like, it really what, almost really? hit it. Yeah, it almost wow. hit it. So, like, are we going to destroy the whole planet because of this, this, this secrets and, and corrupt politicians and whatever? Like, I feel bad for both sides. And then again, I judge people on behavior. I'm 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 for an Israeli state because I think they they were given a shitty piece of land because like brass tax is not the best piece of land. Well, they, well, hold on, but but England granted them that land in the center of all people that hate them. That co- that doesn't come with the territory. Well, 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 I'm I'm saying I want them to ha- exist, but what did you expect? Israel, who who surrounds Israel? Yeah. All yeah, Muslim yeah, nations. Yeah, yeah. Egypt. Egypt. Uh, Muslims. Syria. Muslim. And then Iraq. Iraq, Iraq. guys, and, and I'm not, I'm not saying good for them. I'm saying Lebanon at look the where north. you are, look where they are. I feel it's, bro. If if Canada took a bunch of white people and put them in Compton, those white people can't be like, why is everybody trying to fuck us up? You're in Compton. You are. So, uh, Rob, what are you gonna say? I I don't know. Like when you look at these attacks, look at. Pearl Harbor. Yeah. That's what got the United States to enter World War II. But there were reports that they knew that the Japanese were planning an attack and and they didn't do anything. Weird. Mm -hmm. Same thing with 9-11. They knew that there were these threats to the United States. Same thing with October. uh, October 6th. 7th? 7th. 6th? 7th. 7th. What's more concerning to you? They They knew that it was coming and did nothing. They had no idea that it was coming. Or they knew and they aided. Or are all three equally 
they're I mean, all you're terrible fun. options. I, I, they I, ate I, it, I, I think. I think. I think. That's a good question. If you are, that's a very good question, Robbie. If you are a leader mm -hmm. of a nation, and you know, you know for a fact something bad is going to happen, and you turn your fucking head, and you and you say, because in in a room where it's the, nobody, everybody's really good with secrets, and there's a moment where we go. 3,000 innocent people are going to die. And then somebody goes, yes, but, but. Uh, we're gonna, that guy. Dude, out, I, got, out, I got goosebumps. I know this shit out. Yeah, shut the fuck up. Yeah. Shut up. 3,000 is nothing. At the end of the day, human beings by nature, we are fucking evil. Okay? Look about Japan. Yeah, that, that thing happened. What do we do? We drop two bombs and killed Hundreds and by the way, we didn't drop it on the edge of the city. We didn't drop it by some farm and we were like, hey, look at our, our arsenal. We put it in the middle of a city, a sovereign where people were walking, kids, everybody, and they're like, what the hell is that? Boom. And then we lied and said that it was a military target and that it was a military Lying city. But it was like you said, it was a civilian target. It was a it was a it was a, a, a civilian populated dude, Nagasaki and Hiroshima just but Unbelievable. That's, that's the source of the problem. You have guys in those rooms that don't think that one human life is too many. Thank you. Thank There's you. There's one guy. And yeah. that's yeah. it. And when people... Good, good. Like I wanna... any any normal human being be like, yo, what the fuck are you doing? Like, are we going to kill kill an innocent? Like, right now? No reason? Just for political reasons? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't and know. No, no, you're right. And then I, I, think the, I think when us... Guys, please, like, really look at me. When you guys, when we collectively stop thinking and stop being naive that these people give two shits about your life and 3,000 or 5,000 or 10,000 dead, you think they lose sleep? You think when somebody, when Barack Obama signs something or Biden, they go, oh, guys, we're going to bomb and we're going to drone and, you know, okay, we're going to kill and tell 1,000, 3,000 are going to be civilians. They don't care. They're soulless. They're not on the ground shooting. They're signing a piece of paper, an executive order, and bye. Vinny, Bye. our veterans with Agent Orange, they're still having cancer. They're still dying. Of course they are. My Flint. neighbor, you had Agent Orange. He had cancer. Yeah, Flint, Michigan. They still kill yeah. people They don't give there. a like, shit. I can give you a list. They don't give a shit. They, they don't, don't care. They oh, don't wait. Care. Also, like that V word. Remember that, that virus that came out? Just j jab everybody. Jab everybody. Now people are fucking dying left and right. And they're like, ah. It was at the moment we didn't know the science. By the I, way, if you think that it doesn't matter what we do or what we think and that they have all the power, you're wrong because the only reason why they need to fake attacks or allow attacks to happen instead of just going and doing exactly what they want is because they need our support and our consent. Bingo. Mm -hmm. And yeah. they rely on public opinion in order to be justified in what they do. And so if if enough people decide to speak out and say we don't like what's going on and the poll numbers show that 70% of Americans don't support the war anymore in Israel and they start calling their congressmen, it will end because yeah. they're going to be afraid about losing funding and support. Yeah. And the same goes for everything the United States does. When 9-11 when happened, we had like a 75 percent approval rating for george bush oh, right yeah and the whole country came together that was the only way that they were able to launch an offensive invasion, invasion in, in and modern that. history yep. when we have you know democratic and so-called liberal principles and stuff like they yeah. they were able to convince all these modern people who were pro-peace in the 90s like five seconds ago yeah. to be like yeah let's go to war Dude, and, that was, and, and not only that they were like yeah let's go get those guys in afghanistan and let's go to iraq and yeah, like, and yeah, yeah and keep going yeah. yeah so like they they they're doing that like if they were really all powerful and they could just do whatever the fuck they wanted, they would just go and do it. Yeah. But the fact that they have to play this game you of justification. Us. You need yeah. us. And by the way, and I'm, I'm so happy you said that. I, and I brought this up earlier, I was in during that speech. I was in the military when I Bush went up there on that aircraft carrier. Dude, I got emotional. I got emotional because I was sold. I was sold. And then once that emotion went away, I went, what the hell am I doing? I go, wait, 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 wait. There's no weapons of mass destruction. And then I was like, wait a minute, 9-11, all the, this is, this is weird. And I said, bye-bye. I go, I couldn't do anymore. Amy, what you thinking? So I'm really not super well-versed on uh, geopolitics as much, but um, what you said about you know Ben Shapiro, it's particularly disturbing, the fact that he's um, saying that people shouldn't even be asking questions, mm -hmm. um, that they shouldn't be criticizing, especially when the vast majority of the narratives on The Daily Wire are not mainstream narratives. They're predicated on the fact that they are questioning these mainstream narratives. So how come it's okay for them as a platform when they're able to monetize it, yep. and it's within their uh, what Overton yeah. window? Yeah. Um, however, 
when it comes to, you know, uh, being able to criticize Israel, that's absolutely, no, well, yeah. you, you can't you, you do can't, that. You can't. And by the way, one of the main money-making documentaries on Daily Wire was what? What is a woman? That's a fucking question. Right. Hey, what are you talking about? Right. We ask questions, Ben. I'm <laughs> sorry, and because it's about Israel. No. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> That's what I say about that. But okay, anyway. Vinny, I don't want to come across as a hippie. I don't give a shit. I'm, 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 I'm all for killing, but I'm all for killing enemies. Yes, of course. Like, I'm not killing innocents. I'm from killing enemies. Because people, modern people, right now, they don't want to face the truth. There needs to be a lot of killing. They need to, like, we need more killing right now because there's savages out there. Yep. And I see where Ben is coming from because I just this morning, I opened Twitter and I see this guy, I think it was in, in England, with a knife stabbing kids in a park. Oh, yeah. They'll, okay. They'll There's no question that there is Islamic extremism and there probably would be even if there wasn't the war in Israel right now. No, for sure. But the thing is, though, is that Ben's whole thing is facts don't care about your feelings. Mm -hmm. And every single time someone questions Israel, he responds by saying their comment is disgusting. It's disgraceful. Those are feelings, dude. Those are feelings, Address, address the arguments and the facts. Facts, and yeah. he doesn't address but, those. But the thing is, and I repeat, this is bigger than the Israel thing. This is Western society against savages. Mm -hmm. Like, we figure it out how to build nations, how to throw rockets into the moon. We're from the West. The West is the best. I'm going to keep repeating this. I love it. And we need to defend the West. Like, the, all the problems that we're having right now, immigration, all this weird gender stuff, whatever, they're distractions for taking the West to the next level. And we are seeing an empire fall right I know, now. And, gu and guess what? I'm going there. to do everything in my power with this, with this. And if it comes down to it, I'm going to... You know me. Yeah. I'll get in the, like, Guys, it's getting to the point where we're going to get there. Every single day, there's something new. But China's going to attack. Cyber attack. Yesterday, all these 911 things went down in Texas. And it's like, guys, they're gearing us up for shit. All this shit to destroy us. All yeah. of it.